My name is Chris Conieris, and I'm here to have a fun day kayaking on the lake. I'm thrilled. Uh, the one thing we don't have in Tucson is water. So water sports, you often have to travel. And to have something less than 90 minutes away from Tucson uh, makes it very accessible. This is our first trip to the lake. And we would heard about it from a few friends. You know, They said if you need water in Arizona, that this is the place to come. So it's pretty close to Sierra Vista, so it was an easy drive for us today. I love it. I'm actually really surprised. The pictures online don't do this place justice. It's very pretty. The slope from the hill down to the lake makes it very easy for us to sit up here as parents and you know enjoy the shade while the kids can go crazy in the water and it feels very safe. You know, they're not too far. I've got a good view of everything around me, good view of the beach. It's very well set up. The lake itself, surface acres, is 265 surface acres of, of actual surface water. The park itself is not too much bigger. It's with the campgrounds, it's almost 600 acres, the park itself. We also manage the state trust land, which surrounds the park. That's over 2,000 acres. And then the Sonoda Creek State Natural Area is several thousand acres. We have uh, camping. We have 13 campsites out on the lake. Uh, the real popular ones, we have a big island and a smaller island that people like to use. Obviously, uh, skiing, wakeboarding. We have several different uh, species of fish. We have largemouth bass, we have channel cat and flathead cat. We also have bluegill, crappie. In the wintertime, we stock with trout. And we have several different tournaments a year for the largemouth bass quite a bit of bass here. Um, and it, it's a tough lake, but uh, I've caught some, some good fish, five, six pound range um, in here. And uh, yeah, it's, a, it's, just, it's just a great lake. It's just a fun lake. It's just tough. It's not a, it's not a numbers lake um, where you're gonna catch 10, 20 fish a day, but it, but it, it is tough and it has produced in the, in the past. So. And there's a lot of wildlife we have. Everything from the big predator, the mountain lion, to the little ringtail cats, raccoons, skunk, all your normal stuff. One of the biggest draws we have here at the lake is our birding program. Uh, people come from miles and miles in other states and countries to see the elegant trogan. It's one of our favorite birds and most famous birds, along with the kingfisher, gnat catchers. Um, over 200 different species of birds are found here at Patagonia Lake. So one of the interesting things about the park is that it was built over top of the New Mexico Patagonia Railroad. The railroad was constructed in the late 1800s and abandoned in the mid 1900s. It uh, started in Benson, Arizona, traveled through Sonoida, down through Patagonia into Mexico all the way to Wymas. The railroad was used for transport of cattle for the local ranchers and also the local mines transported their ore to market. I'm a Bob Regier and my family's had the ranch about 100 years and I've lived here about 40 years full time now. Patagonia State Park was uh, formed by these men, one of them my father, and they built a recreational lake. These are the documents to get the loan. They had to uh, prove that the people in the area wanted to do this. So they, this is the signatures of People. I mean, done in 1966. It's very interesting who lived here then and all of them signing these documents. I was about 20. I was at NAU. I didn't pay attention. Now, later, I was overwhelmed that they did that. But at the, at all these men got together and did that. Something like that would never happen now. I don't know what they were thinking. I mean, really, they had a different attitude. They just, let's build it. You know? We can do it. <laughs> But one of the big problems they had, that road was dirt. And they realized they could never probably afford to pave that whole road. And that's one of the reasons I think they made the deal with the state to have a state park.
I got this little boat a few months ago, and um, it's just it's quiet, you know, and it's relaxing, and uh, you know, it's close to Tucson. It's not that far away, and it's and it's definitely a totally different climate. It's usually a little bit cooler. It's fun, a place to escape for a while and feel like you're maybe not in a desert. <laughs>